Well, good morning, everyone. It's a uh, good feeling being back on the road. Said goodbye to my friends there in East Alton, and uh, today, well, we're gonna hang out in Illinois a little bit as we travel east. Got some uh, Christmas decorations of sorts. A neat little old town here in Collinsville, Illinois. And a little piece of restored history right here downtown. An old advertisement. This is said to be about 100 years old. It remained untouched until 1999 when the owner of the property here decided to touch it up with some paint a little bit. But it hasn't changed much. It's been here at least. And uh, that is an old advertisement there. Classic, right? Yeah. I did stop on my way out to the uh, dump station that, that that's there in uh, Pontoon Beach. Still has a free dump station, but the water's turned off. So we'll need to find some water here uh, in a couple days. But you know, I am as prepared as I could be to start traveling again. Woo! And what about Mr. Cute Jacks Man? Are you ready to? This your nice seat right behind Dad? Yeah. Does that work? Okay. <laughs> it's working okay. Again, Jack's never really used the passenger seat very much when we're on the road, just mainly when we're starting like in parking lots. So as soon as the st vibrations start, Jack's will hop down anyway. So he's either sitting underneath me, under the seat in the driver's seat, or he sits behind me in the first seat with his fleece blanket there. I uh, had to move the phone mount to this spot. Don't know if you can see it in the view right here. Not all the time, but when I go picture in picture, you're definitely not going to see it. Watch my tail swing when I re-enter traffic here. Don't hit that pole. We're good. Awesome. The stereo sounds awesome. Fantastic. Up here also, the Gary worked on it this morning before I left to look at my problem with that adapter. He fixed it. He put a different wire in there and now the TV completely runs through the speaker system and it is so cool. Sports, movies, music videos, everything has bass and it's in stereo back. Man, I'm really happy with it. What some awesome improvements made to Miranda here on this day and possibly more to come next time I come through here, so. But now we travel on the back roads of America and head towards that way, east. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at this in front of us. It's a huge ketchup bottle. Catsup, I mean, it says catsup. Hang on, I'm gonna see, yeah, I can probably turn in here. That's awesome. Of course, I just realized the closer we get to it, the more I can't really show it to you because it'll be straight up in the air, but we'll figure something. I know how we'll do it. I have a drone. Hey, so if you're new to my channel, one of the ongoing themes and missions I try to do on the channel is larger than life, quirky, big, unusual roadside oddity stuff. So this huge ketchup bottle fits right in line with that. I mean, look at that, the world's largest ketchup bottle. Uh-huh. It's a monster. It's sitting on top of this 100 foot steel base here and the bottle itself on top is 70 feet tall. The world's largest, ooh, tangy ketchup. That's my favorite kind. Are you a ketchup or a catsup person? I'm a ketchup guy myself. Apparently built in 1949, so it's been a staple here in Collinsville for quite a while, greeting people as they travel on down the back roads of Illinois. I love it. Very, very quirky. Definitely my style. And anytime I get a chance to see a world's tallest anything, oh, I'm stopping. I don't even care. Well, I'm here in Belleville, Illinois, and I'm going to make a pit stop here because it appears to be a, a big blue store, a super center, in fact. And I need to get some supplies. Like that whole three weeks I was there in East Alton, I mean, I had the motorcycle to go get some stuff with the backpack, but otherwise, you know, everything, milk, bread, and everything I needed, it was a little trickier to get. So I am going to stock up like crazy on all the essentials, including TP for my bunk hole. Too much information? Probably, yeah. But I don't mind parking way the heck out here away from everybody. That's what I'm gonna do. Well, things can change often. Um, change of plans. <laughs> Uh, I just got a bunch of groceries, already put them all away. When I came out, I asked to talk to the manager. Just, I always, pretty much I always do. 
And they said, yeah, you can uh, park here overnight in your RV. And she asked me to pick the lot that's closest to the highway over here. And I said, well, ironically, that's where I parked anyway. Um, so as you can see, I've now got the slide out. Um, but, you know, I'm still going to continue this video with the rest of our travels in the morning. But I decided to park it because uh, there's, a, there's a big uh, football game tonight on Dish. My uh, Seattle Seahawks are playing the Vikings tonight. So, uh... I'm, I'm gonna get comfortable, and uh, Jax and I are gonna spend the night here. Yeah, that's cool. I got a new candle going here. Another one from Bath and Body Works, but cinnamon caramel swirl, and it is amazing. There's also a Wendy's right behind me here in this lot, so I got some good uh, lunch planned for the game. Oh yeah. Let me try to show you how this works though. I'm really excited about having the TV through the speakers. Let me turn this on. All right, I got the deck here set to audio video in, and then I got my remote for it so I can stand over here, turn the volume up, on. I'm watching some ridiculousness right now. And as you can see, the uh, ceiling mounted speakers, where the volume's coming from. There's no bass in this right now, but we do get bass out of this. Let me put it on a music video channel. There we go. Some 80s. <laughs> Is that awesome or what? I I am just loving all of these changes to Miranda on the road. So much fun. So much fun. Also got these new treats for Jax. It's still fancy feast, but I mean that looks like a really tasty filet there, doesn't it? And Jill gave Jax one of these in the office there at Modify and he went crazy. Does he like these? Does he know what these are yet? It's like, I don't know, Dad. It's not really a can, so I'm not I'm not going to show a bunch of interest until I can figure out what exactly it is. Let me let me think about it, sniff it a little bit. You going to nuzzle it? Yeah, he's going to side nuzzle it. Okay, careful, you get a big cardboard cut. You want me to open it up? Do you want it? Are you hungry? You are, really? Cool, well, let's do it then. Okay. I just cut it up into little pieces so it's easier to eat, okay? You want to try it? You might not like it, though. Are you kidding, Dad? I love it. I love it so much. In my belly. This belly right here, is that where it goes? Right into that belly? Okay, put it in there. All right, man. Oh, yeah, I got the uh, four for four dollar with the junior bacon cheeseburger fries, nuggets. I opted out of the drink because I dipped into my Christmas present from Jill and Sean a little early to put, I'm wearing the uh, modified t-shirt underneath but also some of the weird stuff that was in there. Um, some sodas, totally gross soda. Hmm. And this yellow flavor is Kitty Piddle. <laughs> oh my God. I can't even. It's getting pretty bad if Nomadic Fanatic's drinking Kitty. Ow, that's not a twist off. Ow. Yeah, if I'm drinking cat piss, I think we're gonna have to worry. That is the tastiest kitty piddle ever. It's like a pineapple-y. It's delicious. No, it's not for kitties though. No, it's for adults. Sorry, buddy. You wouldn't like it. <laughs> you wouldn't like it. It's delicious. Go back to sleep. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Just primetime football! Woo! Aw, oh, crumb. My electric toothbrush is dead. I can't brush my teeth this morning. Wait. Oh. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> coffee, coffee, coffee time! Oh, yay. People still ask me all the time what vacuum I have. I'm not saying it's good or bad. It works great for me. It's the Shark Rocket vacuum. It has a setting for floors. And then when I get to the carpet up here, I switch it to carpet. I get the carpet. I like it. It's rechargeable. It lasts about a week before I gotta recharge it. it works great. 
Uh, good game last night there on prime time. I guess the NFL won't let me talk about certain specifics or outcomes. So I can't say that. But uh, the Seahawks are looking good this year. I think this is the year. <laughs> that was exciting. That was a fun game. Now, today's Tuesday. I'm hoping to get this video edited at the end of the night and get this uploaded Wednesday morning for you because I am a little behind. It's not always going to be this behind, but... Let's put on a little bit of miles, get to where I was supposed to get to yesterday, you know, by my miles per day type of thing, and uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, so I stopped in a little town and mailed off my Christmas card to Ma. Merry Christmas to all y'all, and then got back on the highway, and you know, it's a nice sunny day, so sure, let's uh, travel with our plane in the back of a pickup truck. <laughs> Seriously? All right, whatever works, man. I made some good time today. I'm in Nashville already. Actually, Nashville, Illinois, not Nashville, Tennessee. And check out this half-pint house of holiness here. It's a tiny church. Kind of flooded down there also with a cute little boardwalk here. I don't think the uh, audience group congregation is going to be a whole lot of people in there. Because, I mean, it's pretty tiny, but that's awesome. The boardwalk here is closed up, though. They put a fence, says uh, no trespassing. I don't know how serious they really are because, you know, but, you know, it does say no trespassing, and I don't know if they still do weddings in there or not. My guess is no, not anymore. So another change of plans. Right across the street from that tiny chapel is a McDonald's, but it's not your typical McDonald's. There's the McDonald's. They provide... I guess truck parking because this area is so busy. So we have really long truck stalls here. And I went in and asked if it was okay if uh, I stayed in my RV overnight. And they said yes. So I'm gonna skip going to Mount Vernon. I was gonna go to the Walmart there and do some lot dockings. I skip that and do this instead. It's actually okay the way they designed this particular truck parking because it's not like a rest area where truck engines are gonna keep me awake because we're all in this line. Their engines are up here where my bedroom is way back here. And as a bonus, I'm at the last stall here that's approved before these style parking spaces start happening. And, you know, I'm not saying this place fills up another RV or truck doesn't park here and just block all these cars. It, it could happen, but it's a, pretty, it's a pretty safe bet, so. So that's what we're gonna do, Jax. That sound okay to you? Do you approve of everything? Done parking, yeah? I gotta do some editing, okay? And then we'll, we'll, we'll hang out, okay? Say bye, guys. Burgers. See you in a few days, guys. Bye-bye.